Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Hatoful Boyfriend with me, Rock Paper Mario. I'm actually recording this on the same day. I still want to see if there's like... No, I don't want to see that music bird. What if you go to maths? Like, who's going to be in the maths class? Sir, how will integral calculus help us in life? Might be able to calculate your booty. I might never help you at all. What? No, oh my god, I mean, it might never help you at all. But studying things that think of the educational candy. Educational candy. Oh my god, yeah, I'm not I'm not ready for his jelly either. But, um, yeah, welcome back to Let's Play Hatful Boyfriend. This is, like, on the same, um day that I recorded the other two episodes, it's just that, like, I really wanted to play more, and I have the time, and I was just like, I need to play more of this game. We get our finals back today. I'm not so sure I did too well. Yeah, but the, the, the teacher who's into us said that we did well. Colin, open the doors! Sir? Well done, you've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir! It is like game is just so like makes me feel so positive. It's just so amazing. Success! I did remember to sync my video this time, not like an idiot. I wonder if their game is gonna be on my birthday. I wonder if there's gonna be a day on my birthday. Today's the last day. Sometimes it seemed long, and sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now. And summer of love for the birds and the boys. I need to check all the assigned books before I go home. Yeah, we need to go to the library. We need to go to the library and see our friend. Today is the closing ceremony, so there are even fewer... Yeah, there's never anyone in there except Nageki, that guy. We're not the only one. Yeah, see? We, we, we know the territory. Nageki! Hello! Oh, maybe he's not here. Are you here, Nageki? Oh, there he is! Please be quiet in the library. Yeah, he's a ghost. He's dead, you know. <laughs> Willy Lopez, he's Puerto Rican. <laughs> Hello. You're rather noisy today. Did you want something? Nope. I was just wondering if you were here. Of course. I'm always here. That's because he haunts the library. He haunts the library. He replies from his corner in a somewhat annoyed tone of voice. Oh, the book he's holding. That's assigned reading this semester. Is it any good? Not really. I'm almost done with it. It forces its safe, ethical viewpoint on the reader. Like all assigned reading. Oh, God. The whole concept is inane. Why force anyone to read... Why force everyone to read the same books? That is, like, true. But, like... I don't know. Like, I don't even know what I was going to argue, but like it should like I suppose like you should be allowed to choose which books you read, but then you do get to do that. Like which kind of path you get to choose or which kind of opinions you should read. But then you should like really kind of read a sampling of all kind of opinions or at least know them so that you can compare yours to other people's, you know. Huh? You volunteered to work here, so you must like books. I love books. I was wondering what to read next. So you want me to recommend? Oh, he wants to know my opinion. Oh, he's nodding. Pigeons nod a lot, though. I mean, I wouldn't, like, pigeons kind of spend their whole life nodding. Do you know, that's kind of just what they do. I wouldn't be so, like... Night on the Galactic Ra- What's Ore Hato? What is that? That could be, like, pi Hato is pigeons, isn't it? Or Hattori is a bird or something. There's something to do with Hattori and Hatto and bird or something. Ore, I have no idea what that could be. I'll suggest this against my better judgment. What about my little Nicobar can't be this cute? I liked it. Oh my god. I've never heard that name before. What is it? My little Nicobar can't be this cute. What could that even be about? Oh, it's a light novel that came out last month, says, uh, say I. It's about an incredibly tsundere Nicobar with a complex and her faceless male protagonist brother. And, I see. He sounds extreme. Oh no, we picked the wrong book. Don't look down on light novels. Kirinico is cute. 
yeah, you shouldn't look, see, maybe he'll respect that we're, like, defending our books that we like. And he agrees that not everyone should read the same books, so maybe, like, he'll respect that. If he doesn't, then I don't want anything to do with him anymore. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. Especially since I'm a caveman. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life. So maybe I'll go running today. Yeah, go and run and catch some mastodons or whatever I do for a living. See, why can't I live in buildings like this? Why, do I, why can't I live in a pagoda? Why do I have to live in a cave? Why can't I live in Godzilla destroyed Tokyo? I have to live in a cave. It's just, it's, it's not fair. Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. <laughs> What's a running girl? Is that like the running man? With Arnold Schwarzenegger. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where the fuck am I? Like, why do I always have to be like this? Like, where the fuck am I? Like, why can't you just say, where am Where am I? Like, what does it have to be? Where the fuck am I? It's like the other day on the... No, actually, it was yesterday. Guy, like, that, I like, co-worker of mine, whom I kind of like, got on the same bus as me, and the seat next to me was free. And he was like, Harry, is it okay if... Oh, hi, Harry. Um, is it okay if I sit here? And instead of being like, oh, of course you can sit there, what did Harry say? It's a free country. <laughs> it's just like, it's like, why do I have to be like that? I don't know. I suppose it might be endearing in some way, but it's just like, it's a free country. Like after that, I was completely nice, but it's just like, why do I have to be like that all of, like from the beginning? It's a free country. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, Paleolithic homing instinct. The sun setting. Yeah, like, if how can we not... What if we can't find our way back to our cave? Who is this? Who is this? I hope it's not that creepy doctor. Oh, who's this? A new suitor. I don't know you. Where'd you come from? Oh my god, I like his music. Oh, he might be the dangerous one. Do you like the, the dangerous one? Oh, is that his motorbike? Oh no, it's a burr. It's a girl. Pfft, not interested. Is she gonna be our rival? This is totally gonna be our rival. I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that this sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pigeonazion's. I was out for a run and got lost, and we ended up on the wrong side of the track where riffraff like you hang around. You ran all the way from there. You must be good. It's about a two-hour drive from here. What? Is this seriously a little bird that drives around on a scooter? Like, is that what this is? I wish I knew how long I was recording for. I'm just going to record for ten minutes more. Hmm. I like to cut your jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on! The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. Where else would you ever see that sentence? I am telling you now, like, look at this sentence. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Uh, th thank you, um, may I ask your name? Koshiba Azami. Asil Takuyaki. Call me Azami. Why, thank you, Azami. I don't know why this girl suddenly sounds like Samuel L. Jackson, but, like, that's just w the way it goes. Oh, look, listen to the pot pot pot. We're going off for a romantic ride on her scooter. You are a very, uh, cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you will understand. There is a far-off look in her eyes. Oh my god, she's like the, the, the kind of like... Maybe she's the James Dean character. I had it wrong all along. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? <laughs> <laughs> Covered into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Oh no, that was me saying that. 
Following traffic laws and power. Oh my god, it's like the the Ant the Nega James Dean. James Dean would never say following traffic laws is part of my credo. That's probably why he got killed in a car accident. That rule is for humans. Yeah, you're like, how is the sparrow even driving the scooter? Like, how is this even working? Like, what is even going on? But I'm not a bird. And so we potted along at Azami's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my cave, it was almost light out. Why do I live in a cave? That is never going to be clear to me. Why am I a caveman? Oh, it's the day before my birthday! I bet you it's going to skip my birthday. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job, since I have the chance. I'll... What will I do? Um... Let's get a job. What if that, like, library boy is working somewhere? I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was the cafe, right? Oh, there'll be a cafe boy! There'll be, like, a, a cute boy who works in the cafe. It's beautiful in here. Oh, my. Oh, God. It's a parrot. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. If you could come back at noon. Oh, sorry. I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. Oh no, it's the older man. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Yeah, like the maths teacher who escorted us back to our cave. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I am called Urushihara Kenzaburo. I can't believe I just read that, and I don't think I read it completely wrong. I am the owner of the Horami Cafe. I'm Colin Harry. I still I can't get used to seeing my name that way around. Welcome, Miss Harry. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me? I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. Did anyone ever see that anime Shirokuma Cafe about the polar bear who owns a cafe? That is like the best show ever. I love it. I'm a vitality girl. That's probably going to be my new catchphrase. I'm a vitality girl. I shall be relying on you for this summer then, Miss Harry. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course! All I'm doing is sitting around my cave getting all fat anyway, so... I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. Tomorrow then, Miss Harry. What if it, like, turns out that actually Miss Harry is, like... Something like a paranoid schizophrenic or something. Or some sort of person in a mental asylum. Like, it's like... Like, it's like... Shutter Island or something. Today's my first day working at Mr. Urshihara's cafe. I'll leave early to make a good impression. Oh, you want to impress him? You want to impress the, the gentle bird? We still didn't get to see what he looks like. Good morning, Miss Harry. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. He looks really nice and friendly, like he, do like he not doesn't look like scary at all. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. Oh, this is so nice. Like, th like this, this whole, like, summer holidays atmosphere is really kind of, like, relaxing. Well, then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Well, it's better than a grimy, old, horrible cave. Excuse me? Oh, it's Ryota. Um, I saw the flyer at the station, and... Ryota? Oh my god, we're going to end up working together! Harry, uh, w what are you doing here? Oh, well, what are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Harry? Oh yes, this is Ryota. This is such a nice part of the game. Like, it's not crazy at all. It's just really, like, nice and, f and friendly, and friends working in summer job in the cafe with a parakeet. Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. What's your other job? Looking after your mom, isn't it? Um, Mr. Ushihara, could you use two people? Hmm. 
Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. <laughs> I should. Um. Um. I don't know. I'll give the job to Ryota. He needs money to look after his sick mom all in his own and stuff, and I'm his friend and I'm nice, so... Do you think you could take Ryota instead of me? Harry? I don't see why not, but... <laughs> Why's he have the stupidest voice? I don't really need the job, but Ryota does. Don't worry, he's a hard worker. Are you sure, Harry? It's not really fair to you. I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day too, but... Ryota works several jobs every summer to support his mother. See, I was right! I was right! I'm like, this, this game is... like, this character is me! Mr. Orochihara is a real gentle bird, and Ryota deserves to be treated nicely. This is for the best. I know you'll do a good job, Ryota. Oh, we're such a good friend. Well then, our encounter has been as transient as a comet's tail on the horizon, but I am glad I met you. Please, do stop by. I will always be here, Miss Harry. I will. Thank you, Mr. Urushihara. Oh, well, that was a really nice little interlude. Is it going to skip my birthday? Yeah, it skipped it by about, like, two weeks. Well, I think that's enough for this part of, like, the... Of Hattoful Boyfriend. <laughs> Went me, Rock, Paper, Mario, blind. Um, oh my god, I have to pick a date for, like, the summer festival. Library Boy definitely won't want to go to that. I'll have to think this over. Anyway, thanks a million for watching. I'll see you in the next part. Bye!